So let's start again with a comparison between the ontology of our universe and the ontology of this show's universe. So here when we're talking about Game of Thrones, there's actually a lot fewer similarities between the two ontologies. Um, so previously we saw that there were still things uh, with um, Stranger Things and with the X-Files, like Kansas and Jimmy Carter being the 39th president, those were all in common uh, among our ontologies. However, we've lost that now going into Game of Thrones. There's no Kansas, there's no United States for Jimmy Carter to have been the 39th president of. There's a lot fewer similarities. There still are some similarities. Uh, there's still human beings in both kings. There's food and beer and wine and forests and rivers, um, horses, things like this. They exist both in our ontology and in the Game of Thrones ontology. But there are a lot more differences. So can you name a few differences uh, some things that are found in the Game of Thrones ontology, but that are not found in our ontology. And even if you've never seen Game of Thrones, I know you can come up with at least like one or two things that exist in Game of Thrones, but that do not exist in our universe. Okay, so you could have said a lot of things like dragons and direwolves. Um, you could have said Winterfell, Westeros, Essos, magic. You could say magic because magic uh, populates the Game of Thrones ontology, and magic does not populate our universe's ontology. Okay, so see, these are some of the differences between the ontologies of our universe and the Game of Thrones universe. Now, we know that the ontologies are really different. What about the metaphysics generally, overall? So, uh, I'm talking about things like how causation works, the nature of reality, time, stuff like that. Um, are there generally a lot of similarities, or are those also very different between Game of Thrones and our universe? There's no right answer, just wondering what you guys think. So again, there is no right answer. Um, I actually think that there are a lot of similarities between the metaphysics of Game of Thrones and our universe. So even though the ontologies are really different, Game of Thrones is a sort of rare fantasy show, and a book series, the Song of Ice and Fire series, are really different in that the metaphysics are really similar to our universe. Um, and that's part of what makes this such a crossover hit, is that it's a fantasy story. And yet, a lot of things that, uh, that we see in the show are recognizable, even if they don't exist in our universe. So like dragons, um, we don't have dragons, but if we did, we'd think that they would look something more like that than, say, the dragons of um, how I met, uh, how I train your dragon. What is that? How to train your dragon. <laughs> uh, um, so there's uh, a lot more similarities between the metaphysics of Game of Thrones and our universe. Um, something like dragons, also magic, how magic works in Game of Thrones. Obviously there's no magic in our universe, but if there was, we would think that it would look a lot more like the magic in Game of Thrones than compared to, say, Harry Potter. Um, so the magic in Harry Potter it makes no sense. Um, and I, I should say I love Harry Potter more than I could say. Um, the magic doesn't make any sense. It's completely internally inconsistent. The metaphysics, there's like no explanation for where it came from and how it works, um, what types of things harness it. If you invent magic or spells or you discover spells, there's, just, there's no explanation and there's also no uh, real consistency. And again, I love Harry Potter, and rereading that as an adult after having studied philosophy was um, a hilarious experience. So uh, Game of Thrones, we think, is different, and I think a lot of people find this different, but maybe don't have the um, tools to articulate what is so compelling about Game of Thrones, but part of what it is is that uh, it's a fantasy story being told in a world that we recognize, even though everything looks completely different. That's because the ontology is really different, but the metaphysics are very similar. Okay, that's it for ontology, that's it for metaphysics, that's it for this week's crash course in uh, weird and interesting things in philosophy. So I hope you found some of this interesting and not too tedious and hopefully a nice break from um, cramming for finals. Good luck with the homework assignment and good luck studying for finals. I'll have another very short, I promise very short, video for you guys next week before the final. I'm um, just to wrap things up and give you some last information about uh, the class, answer any lingering questions that are coming up this week. If you do have any questions, please let me know. Again, the final will be made available on the first day of finals week, and it will be due on the last day of finals week. So good luck, and I will talk to you all soon.